Hey Glam Fam, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize a wig. This wig is upscale. It is a 20 inch wig uh, in natural color and texture from samsbeauty.com. I'll put a link down below in case you're wondering. This is a full lace cap. I know some of you were thinking, oh 360 lace. No honey, this one is full lace. There are no tracks in this wig at all, which is nice because that means you can part it literally anywhere that darker portion is stretchy just so you know uh, now you guys can see it does have a comb in the back and it does have the elastic straps on the side to be able to add extra tension if you need to it's got two combs on the sides and one comb at the top of this little stretchy section now along the front there are no combs so if you want more in there you would have to stitch them in uh, but of course most people don't do that because it's typically either gelled down glued down or taped down in the front um, now, I want to show you guys here, you can part it anywhere, and I mean anywhere, in this wig, uh, but you guys can kind of see like the grid pattern, you can see the knots, things like that. I'll try to get you a closer look here. Um, here you go. And so, we just want to go ahead and do some color. Uh, so, I'm going to start off by doing a test strand. This is with a high lift blonde. Uh, it's an ash tone because I want it to be close to Allison's hair color that she currently has and uh, see how light we can get it. Alright you guys, so as you can see, I went ahead and lifted out this section here on my test strand and it lifted really well, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this color all over. And I know a lot of times people will go into bleaching the knots and all that, what I'm actually going to do is use the same high lift tone uh, on there to bleach my knots. Um, the reason why I'm going to do that is just because a lot of times I see people bleach the knots and then they end up having to go back and tone it. The high lift color, I can use it to lift and tone at the same time, giving me that even tone I'm looking for and really taking it close to Allison's skin color on there. So uh, that way we can kind of knock out two birds with one stone. So you guys can kind of see the grid and see those knots in there. Let's see if I can get this camera to focus. So you guys can kind of see those knots um, in there. We don't want it to have the look of those. I would rather it look more like scalp down there. So what we're going to do to take care of some of those different ones is just drag the color all the way down. I may even put it on the underside of the cap just to give that same evenness all the way around. Okay, so you guys can see here, I went ahead and left the color on that section because it's already finished processing and this really isn't going to hurt. I'm going to go ahead and apply this same high lift tone from the base of the wig or the scalp area of the wig and apply it all the way through. So you guys can just kind of see me applying it uh, there and then pulling it all the way down. Uh, once the entire thing is covered, I'm going to go ahead and place a bag over it just so it's not messy and take out my pins, take it off of the uh, canvas wig head. Now I will say uh, the plastic wrap that I put on here is going to get stained just from the hair color just so you guys know. So I can see I've got a couple dry spots. I'm just going to go ahead and hit it on the underside on the inside of this wig. And I should have taken the tag off but who cares. It's okay. And then we're going to let that process until it's completely finished which is about 30 minutes or so. Now you guys can see here is the beautiful tone that it ended up with. And I thought, you know what, I want to give a little bit more depth just so it looks natural at the scalp area. So I'm going to go back and apply a shadow root at that area. So I'm going to do a level 6 in there and uh, it's more of a, like, a neutral shade. It'll help to match with Allison's skin tone better as well. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that just for like an inch or so right at that scalp area. Uh, I'm not worried about getting it on the lace because honestly this lace is really light and my wife is darker than this so the tone of this color will actually help to tint the lace as well and make it look a bit more natural on her which I'll show you guys at the end and put it on her. From there I'm using a comb just to lightly feather out the edges so it doesn't look too harsh and it's not looking like a straight across line. I want it to be very softened. Um, just so it has a regrowth type of look and not a girl who did your color type of look. You know what I'm saying? From there, I want to give some highlights around the face just to add some extra pizzazz or um, for whatever the young people are saying these days. So I have a bleach mixed with a 20 volume developer. Honestly, this part only processed for like maybe 10 minutes. So keep an eye on it. Bleach can lift very quickly. Uh, this is virgin hair. So, you know, you got to be quick sometimes with it and we'll just let that process. 
Now it's been rinsed out, all that loveliness, and you guys can kind of see where the underside on the plastic has been stained. Uh, some of the lace has been, but like I said, it takes it closer to Allison's skin color. Now what I'm going to be doing, because this hairline is so dense and thick, is I'm actually going to uh, tweeze this hairline some. I want to thin it out. Be careful not to grip the lace, okay? Don't grip the lace, boo. So from here, we're just tweezing it out. I'm going to continue to tweeze until it begins to look a lot less dense, more like a natural hairline to me. Uh, I don't want to take it extremely thin where it's going to look like, girl, you bowed. Uh, <laughs> but I do want to go ahead and thin that out. So you guys can see I do a little bit in the front. I'm going to pull some hair forward and then tweeze directly behind that. So that way it gradually gets more dense as you go to the back. Now, I'll tell you guys, if you'd like me to, I can do a video that's more in depth on this. Uh, because people are sending me lace closures and stuff all the time. Um, I can do a video that's dedicated strictly to this if need be. Uh, there's really not a science to it. It's just looking and seeing what feels right and what looks right to you. Uh, sometimes people put on their head and, you know, do it like they want to. So you guys can see here uh, how we thinned out that hairline. It's not like massively thin. It just got rid of some of that density so it looks a bit more natural. Okay, so you guys can see if you want to wear it back, you can. All right, there's the highlights, all that as it has dried. Let me know what you guys think if you like this color, by the way, because, um, yeah, I love doing color. It's super fun. I've been doing it for years now. Um, firstly, it's hashtag I love this shirt and these pants. Um, I don't know. I have a men's fashion channel. Maybe at some point I'll start putting links to stuff on there, but that's not what this video is for. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this wig now. Notice I am using shears, and that's just because with a full lace wig, it's placed in there a lot like how the hair grows out of the scalp so i can literally pull this hair in any direction i can do blunt cuts i am doing some point cutting though just to give a bit of softness on these ends um, with a standard wig that has tracks you typically have to soften up your lines by using a razor now um as i'm doing this i am kind of going through there and adjusting quite a bit and just you know uh cutting until i see like the ends look nice and full to me Okay, from there I'm going to go ahead and put a light coat of a workable hairspray on it uh, just to give a little bit of hold and we are going to curl this wig with a curling wand. So we're going to start off with the bangs. Now um, I will say if you want a tighter curl, uh, when you take that out of there and you'll kind of see me do it here in a minute, either clip it and allow it to cool or you can hold it between your hands if your hands are not as sensitive to heat. Um, mine are not because I've been doing hair now for 17 years so being burnt is the name of the game um, but yeah it helps to cool that hair down if you don't feel like clipping every section so you guys will see me do it here and uh, once it cools down some then I go ahead and just release it and move on to the next section okay so I prefer to get all this styling done prior to putting it on Allison just so that way she can literally put it on and go um, which I will say, you guys, this wig was really easy to work with. It does curl really easily, as you guys can see. So now I'm just going to kind of finger through those curls, see how it falls. And I am loving the way that this cut and this style is falling. Look at those highlights, you guys. Yes. Okay, so uh, like I was telling you guys earlier, I am, uh, it's my specialty to do cut and color. Um, I also do a lot of natural hair, so in case you guys are like, oh my gosh, I'm so sick and tired of seeing this. Sorry, boo. I do a lot of it. It's what I'm known for. I don't know what to tell you. I still love you, though. So here's the finished look, but we still have to go in here and trim the lace. So now I'm going to pin back behind it, and I'm going to get a sharp, and it had to be sharp, pair of scissors or shears. I really prefer scissors because shears are meant for hair, not for lace. I'm going to cut as close to that hairline as I can get. Okay? I don't want to leave a ton of lace going. Now notice on this unit, I did not do baby hair. Some people prefer it. Some people don't. Um, in this instance, because of how closely it matches Allison's hair, I did not do baby hair on this unit because her own hair can easily play into that role and perfectly match this unit, which you guys will see. Uh, any baby hair that you see on her for the finished look is her own hair. Um, so it's great how well this blends with hers. 
and this is with it taken down uh, without the lace on there and of course this is with it on Allison and I'm just gonna kind of you know toss it a little bit uh, making sure it looks right I want you guys to see how that scalp looks like her skin color there's no concealer on here nothing special I didn't even put a clean part line like that's how serious it is let me know what you guys think of the shadow root by the way um, from here I'm gonna let her play with it and then um, yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment box below don't forget to check out Sam's Beauty for this unit it is a gorgeous unit I love it take care you guys and stay glam Bye-bye.